have Thomas Johnson. Where are you, Thomas? Yeah. Right, can we all have a brand of applause for Thomas Johnson? And Edward Davis. Billy Butler, BBC radio broadcaster for many years, what's the magnet meant to you? Oh, it was delightful to see it. I've seen it many times on video. I never thought I'd see it on the big screen, but it brought back so many memories, especially, especially the New Brighton, the, uh, the, the promenade, seeing that great big building with me. Granddad used to always leave me outside of while he went in, <laughs> you know. And I, I, it was always my ambition that when I grew up, I'd go there drink, and I never did. <laughs> I know. So we were in the slight cinema where the New Brighton Baths used to be. Do you remember New Brighton Baths? Oh, yeah, I remember New Brighton Baths. It's wonderful seeing that as well. I judged quite a few of the Miss New Brighton competitions uh, during the heyday of it. And I think like my, my wife, Leslie, who was younger than me, she was delighted to see it because she went there quite a lot. And even now you look at it and it was an enormous uh, swimming baths. You know, and I mean, for people who've never seen it, when you see it on the screen, they're bound to say, wow, did we have a swimming box that big? I'm just so sorry it never showed you any of the fair. Sure, yeah. And what do you think of the light cinema then? Oh, the light cinema's great. It's dead handy for us anyway. But it's great. Big, good selection of films. Seats are brilliant. I was at the Odeon One last week in Liverpool One, and the seats are not a patch on the seats here. Yeah, it's great what they've done with the whole New Brighton thing now, isn't it? It's fabulous. It really is really good. Great. Well, thanks very much for your time, Billy. It's not over with, is it? There's still more stuff. We've got a hungry horse opening yeah. next door. Yeah. And presumably there'll be something up and over there. Yeah. And I, I like going to home bargain. <laughs> 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 thanks very much for your time, Billy. Appreciate it. Thank you. So it's, um, your, it's Karen? It is, yeah. And Jenny? Yes. Okay, and your father was... Keith Robinson. Keith Robinson. And in the film he played? He's played Spike. Okay, and what's the film meant to you guys? It's meant a lot, um, especially at being on the pitches tonight, with it being local, as, as my dad passed away 18 months ago. And he would really have been pleased and excited to have come tonight to have seen this. And it, it, it's great to capture these people. It's like being immortal, isn't it? It is. And it's quite a moral film as well at the end, isn't it? It's very good. Yeah, it's very difficult to explain to people the plot there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah very hard. But I think people, if they see it, they get it. Great, and it was, what do you think of the light cinema show in this film? Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, and I can't believe the turnout they've had for it, where they've sold out, they've had to put extra seats on, extra dates on, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's been running for a whole week. Has, has that surprised you? It has, it's a big surprise. Oh, super. Well, it's, it's great to see your, your dads in the film, and thanks very much for the light, it's great, isn't it? Okay, thanks very much. Thanks, Thank guys, you. cheers. Thank you. So your name is? Edward Davies. And your role in the film was? Um, the delinquent youth. You know, the, <laughs> the juvenile delinquent. Yeah. Tell um, us how you got the part. Well, I was in a, a, a drama club, and um, and they, they, the teacher says, what's the guy been talking? She says, oh, well, I've got a lad who could do that. Because they had somebody from, uh, was going to send a lad up from London. I said, well, what? Is this them? She says, I've got a lad who can do that. She says, save you all the trouble or something anyway went over there and they said do you know there's a script and that's what you have to do fantastic so did you win an extra game on the pinball uh, <laughs> actually we had that magnet and we tried it and it didn't work <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> no no oh, wow. that big man and we thought we thought we'll do these things on the bank but the, the, the magnet wasn't strong enough to do it oh, oh, wow. it was a fiddle <laughs> So how old were you in the film? I would be about uh, about 14, maybe maybe 15, something, just before I started work. Wow, and did you get any other work after that? No. <laughs> That's the, the curse of this movie, nobody else got any other films. No, you know, I, I was doing my, I had my apprenticeship to do, and I, when I finished my apprenticeship, I was in the, called up for the National Service, and a couple of years out in the Middle East, you know, so when I came back, um, all telly, all this, um, radio, and all that. television was all coming in, and there was nobody going to the pictures then. And I thought, what the bloody, what the is it going in now when nobody's taking any notice? Oh, well, so it's only you and Percy who are left in this film, who's still alive, apparently. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, what do you think of the light cinema then? Of this? 
It's a nice cinema, isn't it? Very posh. <laughs> very posh. I really appreciate your time, Edward. Thanks very much. Oh, you're welcome. So, Thomas Johnson, your role in the film was Purse. How, what was it like? It was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so when the, the, the film producers came to the school, what was that like? Well, I wasn't at school. I, I, was, at, I was looking out for the job. And I was coming up Kelvin Road and there was a big limousine outside our house. And I, oh, what the heck's that? You know, anyway, when I went into the house, he said, would you like to come up for an audition? I'm making a, a film. So we went up to an, for an audition and I got the part. Fantastic. And what was it like filming with all the other actors? It's brilliant because I knew, I knew Keith. Robinson and you, David Boyd. So, you know, I, I, we mucked in together, it was great. And how much did you get paid for the film? Oh, quite a lot of money, I can't tell you that now. <laughs> you won't tell me, obviously. No. <laughs> so, well, what do you think of the film, the light cinema show in this film? It's very good, very good, yeah. Yeah? The, yeah, they put it on a good show. Fantastic. Yeah. Pers, the famous actor, thanks very much. <laughs> What's your name? Niall. And what's your relationship for this movie? Your granddad, was it? Was it your granddad in the film? Yes. And what did you think of his movie? Good. <laughs> what was your favourite bit? Can't remember. Okay, so what do you think of, of your granddad being in this film? Good. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, Hayley, um, you are the... What, what's your position in this light cinema? Marketing manager. Okay, so what are you, what's it like working here? Oh, it's fantastic, especially when we're getting to work with the community um, on projects such as this. Um, basically, our aim as a business is to approach things differently, um, to offer customer service, and to really get ourselves involved within and um, within the community, which we've proven tonight is a mass, massive success. Great. So you've shown the magnet over about a week. Has that been a surprise to you? Yeah, well, last week, last Friday... Um, our most popular film was a 1950s Ealing comedy, <laughs> <laughs> which is absolutely, you know, wait for the magnet 3D. That'd be perfect. <laughs> Super. And um, so the light, the, the idea of the light cinema is to really be part of the community and offer uh, blockbuster films as well as local films. Yes, we do. We have all mainstream showings, um, but we also have our studio screens. So they will normally be dedicated to. Um, art house films and local films of interest. Great, and what did you think of the magnet? Fantastic. You, you know, for anybody, it's just fantastic holding on to the glory days of New Brighton. Um, you know, we've got a really rich history here, so you know, it's not it's not gone if it's not forgotten. That's great. Well, thanks very much for your time, Haley. Thank you. And your name is sir. I'm John. John Sullivan. And um, what's your role in the light cinema? I'm um, one of the uh, the owners of the light cinemas. Okay, great. And what was the idea behind the light cinema? Why did you set it up in New Brighton? Oh, uh, in New Brighton because we we love the seaside location. We really believe that uh, going to the cinema is not just about going to see the film. Coming to a cinema is all about a night out. So it's not only just coming to the the picture box. If you, you know, it's also the restaurants and the and the promenade and the whole feel of being somewhere special. And that's what we want to create. Uh, 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 we want to be part of. We want to be part of somewhere special. Great. And why did you pick a 1950s Ealing Studios classic? Well, we've got lots of different films we'll be showing, and this is just one of the many hundreds of films, thousands of films we'll be showing. Uh, but it's it, it's one of those. Um, I have seen the film. There's a lot of this. I have seen the film on my TV or on my video. Therefore, I have seen the film. But I, I, I defy anyone to pick up their, their favourite classic or some of their classic films and put it on the big screen and not be completely gobsmacked. To watch a, uh, to watch a, uh, a, a film in its original, bigger than life, larger than life, on one of our spectacular digital screens, uh, I, I, I have yet to find anyone who's not just been completely amazed by it. And how has the community in New Brighton and Wallasey reacted to the cinema? They love it. Uh, from what I can see, they're, they're certainly uh, we certainly have a parade of people coming to the door. Uh, we've, we've had some uh, unfortunate cues that uh, we're trying to do whatever we can to to eradicate. But uh, yes, I mean de definitely uh, people love this cinema, and they and they also love the position of the cinema. They love coming to New Brighton, 
and this is just another reason to come to New Brighton. It's a, it's a great cinema. It's right in the middle of the heart of things. We love it. Thanks for showing the film. And Thanks thank for you appreciating. For I wish you'd, I wish you'd got royalties from the film, Dad. You know, you could all be rich now. <laughs> okay.